coming up on today's episode of the AMA Drone Report. The FAA imposes height restrictions on model aircraft operations. Drone Safety Week is right around the corner. And the Drone Racing League launches DRL Racer AI. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world. In partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. I'm Sophie Herlock. The FAA informed the AMA that contrary to earlier comments to the organization, the agency is planning to limit all recreational model aircraft operations to 400 feet in controlled airspace, and there will be no exceptions. Congress specifically granted the FAA the flexibility to allow operations over 400 feet if safety would not be affected. However, the FAA has not provided the AMA with any data that proves model aviation is a safety risk. And even though a 400 feet limit may work for a large number of AMA members, the sport has a number of disciplines that need to go higher than the proposed height. Additionally, the AMA has been notified the FAA is working on proposing restrictions in uncontrolled airspace to altitudes which could present safety issues as well as limit some model aircraft operations altogether. The AMA said they were stunned by the proposal and plan to push back. They're urging model aviators to send the letter to your elected representative in Congress and ask them them to contact the FAA concerning this critical issue. You're invited to visit modelaircraft.org slash hire dash flight to contact your representative. We will continue to bring you updates on this story as we get them. Now let's take a quick look at news making rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. It's time for today's Drone Minute. Concerned about the safety of balloon operators and spectators, the FAA established a TFR area making this week's Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta a no-drone zone. The TFR prohibits drones within a 4 nautical mile radius of Balloon Fiesta Park, up to 2,700 feet in altitude from 5.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. local time until Sunday the 13th. Further details are available in the drone TFR. Please see NOTAM number 9-8221. A dog, which had been trapped for a month after Hurricane Dorian tore through the Bahamas, was located by Big Dog Ranch Rescue using a drone. The dog, who has been named Miracle, was located alive but emaciated under an air conditioner and building debris. Big Dog Ranch Rescue founder and president Lori Simmons said the group uses the latest technology to allow its teams to locate animals, and in this case, drones played a key role. A new future for city transport is in the works at NASA, where both people and packages will take to the sky. This week, the agency is working with partner company Uber to evaluate what still needs to be invented to manage this expected new air traffic. The goal, known as Urban Air Mobility, or UAM, is a safe and efficient air transportation system where everything from small package delivery drones to passenger carrying air taxis operate over populated areas. No discussion with a lawmaker concerning aviation can avoid the subject of the latest segments of the industry. Unmanned aircraft, urban air mobility, and consumer drones. In a recent installment of an Aero News interview with Senator James Inhofe, he gives us his thoughts on unmanned aircraft, national politics, and UAVs in the military. Be sure to check it out on our YouTube page. Now back to the rest of the news. Join the AMA in celebrating Drone Safety Awareness Week during the week of November 4th through the 10th. The week will engage UAS users and other stakeholders to help educate the public about drone operations and safety. To participate and promote Drone Safety Awareness Week, the AMA encourages their clubs to host events to show their commitment to safety and share what the hobby means to them. To promote and share your planned event for Drone Safety Awareness Week, visit the Voluntary Tracking Tool on the Unmanned Aircraft Safety Team. You can also share your content on social media and use hashtag Drone Week. Each day of Drone Safety Awareness Week will focus on different targeted audiences. 
Monday, November the 4th is Public Safety and Security. Tuesday, November 5th is Business, Photography, Real Estate and Insurance. Wednesday, November the 6th is Business, Infrastructure and Agriculture. Thursday, November 7th is Business, Commercial and Medical Package Delivery. Friday, November 8th is Education and STEM. And Saturday and Sunday, November 9th and 10th is Recreational Flyers. The Drone Racing League launched the DRL Racer AI, the league's first ever autonomous racing drone. Designed to be the first autonomous robot to defeat a human in a physical sport, the DRL Racer AI will help close the gap between artificial intelligence and human performance. The news comes out ahead of DRL's inaugural Artificial Intelligence Robotic Racing Circuit, which kicked off its four-event autonomous drone racing series this week in Orlando, Florida. Customized by DRL's team of drone racing technicians, the DRL Racer AI has a radical drone configuration to provide its computer vision with a non-obstructive frontal view during racing. Generating 20 pounds of thrust, the drone is equipped with a powerful AI at the edge computer platform and is connected to four onboard stereoscopic cameras, enabling the AI to detect and identify objects with twice the field of view as human pilots. And that wraps up this week's episode of the AMA Drone Report. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. For more information on the exciting hobby drone world, head over to modelaircraft.org. I'll see you tomorrow.